Okay, I'm back. So last night the uh, Royals win 5-4 in 14 innings. What a great game. Uh, Harvey goes six innings, gives up five hits, and gives up three runs and strikes out to Falquez, who finds out right before the game that his father passes away. Not something you want to hear before you're pitching in the World Series. His first start ever in the World Series. So, but anyway, he goes out. And he uh, pitches six innings, also gives up three runs, and strikes out uh, three guys. But Alcides Escobar comes out on the first pitch and gets it inside the park home run. You don't see that happen too much. And Granderson got a home run for the Mets. Uh... Royals were down 4-3 in the uh, ninth inning. It looked all but over for the Royals, but you can never count these guys out. So Alex Gordon comes in, hits a home run to make it 4-4. And then this thing went in 14 innings. So in the 14th inning, there were bases loaded and no outs. Alex uh, or Eric Hosmer hits a deep fly ball to center field. Granderson made a pretty good throw, but couldn't uh, tag out Escobar. So Royals went 5-4. I said this series was going to go 7. I still think it's going to go 7. I believe the Mets will win tonight. The game's tied right now 1-1. So I believe the Mets will hang on and win tonight. And I still stick with my prediction with Mets in 7. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a great series. Both teams are very, very even. And... Uh, you can never count out either of these teams, especially Kansas City. You know, they have the experience now. They were there last year. You know, so. And how about Chris Young for the Royals coming in? Three shutout innings. He did very, he did his job last night. Did very good. And Cologne gives up. Give, had the loss last night. Uh, it's too bad for him, but, you know. He could regroup from it because it's just one game. But see what happens tonight. The Grom and Cueto. Like I said, right now it's 1-1. One, one. In the bottom of the fifth, I got the game on right now. But, yeah, I think it still goes seven. It's going to be a long series. As of for basketball last night, the Bulls beat the Cavs 97-95. LeBron had 27 or 25 points and 10 rebounds. Love had 18 points and uh, Rose had uh, 18 points in uh, 32 minutes. That's pretty good. And five assists. Jimmy Butler had 17 points and Nikolai Miritic. Uh, had uh, 19 points. He was 6 11 from the field. He, he's pretty good. I'm glad they finally brought him up. Uh, Paul Gasol blocked LeBron's shot at the last second for the game winner. So that was good. I'm glad, the, I'm glad he blocked LeBron's shot. So. Bulls start out the season good. I think they're going to have a good, a good season this year. Love Tom Thibodeau, but they just needed a change. Just not enough offense the past few years. Fred Hoiberg's an offensive guy. He lets you do your own thing. 
Joakim Noah, loved love that guy. You know, he's uh wants to come off the bench to make the bench stronger. You know, he's one of those guys that plays for the game. It's not about money to him. That's why I love him. You know, he, a lot of people don't like it because like him because he's uh you know he's kind of cocky and can, can be a punk, but he's you know he he's got so much fire and passion for the game. That's why I love him. Hustle so much. So the uh, Bulls win 97-95. I think it's going to be a good year for the NBA. I th um I I think it's going to be the Cavs and the Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, Western Conference Finals. I'm saying it's going to be Golden State and San Antonio in the Western Conference. And uh, I'm going on kind of a gamble right now, saying it's going to be maybe going a little bit by heart, but I think it's going to be Chicago and San Antonio in the NBA Finals. Could very well, well be Cleveland and San Antonio, but we'll see how right or wrong I am by the end of the year. Still very early to make a prediction. But everybody's going to make a prediction in the beginning of the season. As for football, I'll start with college. Um, still a long way to go. I don't, as for the playoff, I don't think the Pac-12 should get a, uh, should get a spot in the top four. I just don't think that conference is very good. You know, they have some good teams, but not sold on Stanford. I wasn't sold on UCLA. Utah I was sold on them until they got smoked by USC. Uh, Stanford is good. They're getting better, but I just don't like them. I've never really been sold on them except for when they had luck in Harbaugh. They have a good defense, but I just think they're kind of slow and, you know, doesn't really blow me out of the water watching them. Uh, I think you're going to have whoever wins the Big Ten championship, either Ohio, you're either going to have Ohio State, Michigan, or Michigan State in the playoff. Uh, because one of those teams are going to be in the Big Ten Championship. Um, the ACC will get a team in there. It will be Clemson or Florida State. The SEC will, of course, get a team in there. And uh, the Big 12 is going to get a team in there. It's either going to be TCU, Baylor, or Oklahoma. Don't count out Oklahoma State either because TCU and Baylor both got to play each other and they got to play Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. So, and Baylor took a blow with their quarterback going down for the year. Hurt his neck the other day. So they're having a true freshman come in there. He's supposed to be pretty good four-star quarterback, um, but taking on a lot of pressure. So, but they have a lot of a lot of talent. So, I I don't I don't know who will win the uh, Big 12. They don't have a conference game anymore. I think they should, but I don't really. I did like Baylor's chances to win it, but now with the quarterback going down, I don't know, but there's so many tough games left. Could be Oklahoma, but they they already had that bad loss of Texas. And I don't know if they can beat Oklahoma State, TCU, and Baylor. But I don't know if TCU can win all those games either. So it's going to be interesting. For that conference. Um, 
ACC. I think Clemson wins that conference. Um, SEC. I think it's I think it's going to be Alabama and Florida in the SEC title. And I do think Florida can win that game. Yeah, the quarterback did go down, or did get suspended, I should say, for PEDs. But they got, I think, the best defense in college football. And they got some good playmakers. They got, a, on offense, they got a great head coach in Jim McElwain, who's right for that team. You know, there's, you're seeing things on that offense that you haven't seen in years. But I see Florida knocking off Georgia this week. Florida, you know, they really only got to beat Georgia, and then they should be pr locked in pretty good. Because I don't see them losing to Vanderbilt or South Carolina, but you never know. Can't take anybody lightly. Alabama, they're clicking right now on all cylinders. They play LSU in a couple weeks on the 7th, 8 o'clock game. Should be good. I think Alabama wins that game. I think it's close. It's always a close game, great game. So, but I think Alabama's a little bit better. I think Alabama's offense is clicking right now. I think Alabama's probably got just as good defense as Florida. I think Alabama's got a nasty defensive line. You can throw on them at times. So that'll be interesting to see who wins that conference. Big Ten, I'm an Ohio State guy. So, you know, I don't want to jinx him, but I think if we get by, we got so, we got a, our schedule's not very strong and we get a lot of uh, criticism for that. So, but we, they got Michigan and Michigan State. They got Michigan State on the 21st and then the next week, Thanksgiving weekend, they play Michigan at the big house. So that's, that's going to be a much bigger game than people thought it would be. It could be very well. It's going to probably be decided for the Big Ten Championship, depending on what happens the week before with the Buckeyes against Sparty at the show. Um, on the other side of the Big Ten, you have Iowa, who's probably going to get in the Big Ten Championship. So, you never know. You can't take them lightly. But, still got a few weeks left in the season. It'll be interesting to see who gets in the playoff. I love college football. Football is my favorite sport. I think college is better than the NFL. It's more exciting. I love the NFL, but I think college is more exciting. Uh, I think the same thing with college basketball. I think it's a lot more exciting than the NBA, although I love sports, so I watch anything. Uh, for the NFL, i surprised with some of the teams that are undefeated this year. Carolina, didn't see that coming. Cam Newton's having a great season. You know, he loses his best wide receiver, Calvin Benjamin a year, touring ACL, and Cincinnati's undefeated, that's a surprise, Denver's undefeated, that's just not really a surprise, but they're not exactly what you call a great undefeated team, because people are giving Peyton Manning some slack, because he's not putting up his Peyton Manning numbers, but People got to remember, the guy's not in his 20s anymore. He's 40 years old. He's been in the league forever. You know, 18 years. Give the guy a break. He's not going to be like he was when he was in his heyday with the Colts. All right? 
the guy's one gonna go down as one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. So everybody needs to lay off Peyton. Alright. As from New England, they beat my Jets. Jets could have won that game. But I'm just glad they kept it close. Um my prediction in the beginning of the year I had the Colts going to the Super Bowl. That's not gonna happen. But I'm I'm thinking as of right now I think it's gonna be I'm saying Green Bay and Green Bay is going to the Super Bowl for the NFC. That's a lock. I don't think they're gonna get beat in the NFC. AFC it's either gonna be Denver or uh New England. So Denver and Green Bay play each other this week. Sunday night football. That'll be a great game. Um so the you know, there's not really a lot of great divisions right now, you know, the AFC East you got the Jets and the Pats at the top. Pats in first, of course, but you got the Dolphins who are playing a little better all of a sudden because they fired coach. But the Bills are kind of slipping. Um, the AFC North, you know, the Bengals are kind of by themselves right now. You know, Steelers got some quarterback issues because Roethlisberger's out now, Vic's out. They got an inexperienced Landry Jones at QB. Ravens are just god awful. Browns are just the Browns. <laughs> um, NFC East, anybody could win that division. Anybody. AFC South, I still give that to the uh, Colts. In the NFC North, the Vikings are playing pretty good. I expected them to have a decent year with Peterson. I think Teddy Bridgewater has a bright future ahead of him. Lions and the Bears not having a good year. Very surprised about the Lions. They just fired their offensive coordinator. Um, the the Bears not surprised about them. I think the Packers will take that division. The NFC South, I think Carolina wins the division. And in the NFC West, don't don't give up on Seattle. Seattle's not going anywhere, but I think Arizona is going to win that division. So, it's still a long way to go for the NFL. But, I think right now, you know, there's a lot of surprising teams. I think I think the Jets will get in the playoffs. They could be, very well be a 10-win team. They have a lot of teams on their schedule who they should be able to to be, you know, Raiders and Jacksonville, which I know both teams are playing better now, especially the Raiders 3-3. Three and three. Who would have thought that right now? You know, 3-3 three and three is not a great record, but it's good for them. Um, then you got Buffalo and Miami. They can, those can be tough games because they're in the division, but I think they should be able to beat. Those are both winnable games. Then you got other games like Houston, Tennessee. You should be able to win both of those games. Um, and they play New England again. I think they'll beat New England the second time they play them. So, you know, there's 10 wins on, that, on the schedule that they can get, you know. They play the Giants and the Cowboys. That'll be interesting. Hope we beat both of them teams by 20. I'm a Jets fan, as you can see, saying we. But sorry, this video is a is a little long. I can go on and on and on and talk about sports all day. But all right, that's a wrap. Um. I'll probably go on tomorrow or or Friday and talk to you about this weekend's 
this weekend's games for college and pro. And give you a little recap on the World Series. Okay, guys, have a good night.